This video is another outcome of COVID-19, the coronavirus. I'm Bill Thomas. I've had the privilege of being the interim rector since December 1st, 2019 of St. Timothy's in Wilson, North Carolina. I came on an eight month appointment, fully ready to help this great parish find their new rector by May or June of 2020. Their previous rector is now Bishop of Montana. So it's a healthy, good place. And I'll tell you, March came and in the middle of March, we were ready to go. This website, which you are watching this video on, is chock full of good information for potential rectors. But with COVID-19, the coronavirus grinding everything down to the normative halt, and now the way we're going about living life in our world so digitally, everything changed. St. Timothy's attempted to respond to this by perhaps pushing out one more month a, an opportunity to collect more names, but a thorough search demands thorough and deep work and deep discernment and deep listening. So consequently, if you're watching this video, you now know whatever time that it's being watched, St. Timothy's is ready and willing and wants to meet the next rector, the one they have been intentionally praying for, the one they know that God has prepared for them. Now, I will not be here but I will be with them in prayer, knowing that they are ready for the next person. And hopefully the work with the coronavirus will allow St. Timothy's under the guidance of Bishop Sam Rodman and the Diocese of North Carolina to slowly reopen and be ready to care for those who come through their doors, both to worship and to go out in service so that the least and most vulnerable amongst us are cared for properly. Having said that as a preamble, I really want to do one thing in this video. I want to celebrate so many of the good things that are part of St. Timothy's that you can find elsewhere on this website much more completely explored. So I would ask you to perhaps take a moment and look at some of my sermons you'll find a sermon there where I talk about how the parish discerned the key elements of what they're looking for in the next rector. And I will ask you to perhaps engage the online parish forum. The, the online parish forum section is something we developed under the uh, leadership of Melanie Statnick. I had the privilege of being her co-host to interview people within the congregation, to do some teaching, but to really explore. So here is where you can learn about outreach. What a great program that was. Or what the rules are that the diocese has uh, the parishes working under to move forward. Or what our leadership is engaged in doing as they respond to those rules. And then there are other great moments on this website. Many, many people have responded and placed a video, and you'll have to look for them. But it's their response to saying, I am St. Timothy's and we are Wilson. Another way for you to understand how wonderful and great a parish like St. Timothy's is. Now, I've said over and over again, and you'll find that in some of my writing in the epistle, which is posted on the website, that's the parish newsletter, that this parish has one of the best finance committees I have ever engaged. So in terms of financial management, as a rector, you will have a good set of teammates to work with as you look to the future. You have a great set of teammates in an amazing commission-based leadership setup that is undergirded by a strong and caring vestry and a great senior warden, junior warden. And you'll find that St. Timothy's is a place that knows how to live into collaborative leadership. And as we engage the rule of St. Benedict in my time here, we discovered that listening is most important, but I believe listening skills have always been a part 
of St. Timothy's. So I, I encourage you to look for those signs as you engage this website. Now, one thing I've attempted to do in my time here is bring across a core theme. And the core theme is we belong to one another. Together with God's help, we can make one another stronger. Perhaps you'll find that theme a useful one as a foundation for whatever you feel call God is calling you to do as you offer leadership at St. Timothy's. Now, there's an, another online parish forum program which I really want to call your attention to. It's how St. Timothy's is engaging stewardship in an attempt to have, frankly, the money raised to do the work done in early fall, even against the backdrop of the restrictions of COVID-19 in small group gatherings, called Thankful for the Pearl of Great Price. Two vestry members have led the way in how this approach now is going to bring forward 15 storytellers telling the story of the pearl of great price. Now, if you can't wait for them to tell you when you get here, you can find me telling it on my website, wct.coach under sermons or stewardship. But the fact that it's being embraced by the congregation as a congregational story tells me that the idea of a strong relationship with God that ends up with the phrase, you are my steward, and the congregation remembering that, yes, indeed, everything I have comes from God, and for that I am thankful. What another great foundational piece for moving forward in a world where the norms have changed because of COVID-19. Now, I'm sure that you will see a lot of my footprint in electronic media here, and you will see some great sense of who the parish is in Facebook. Please know that your caring heart is the most important thing to the folks at St. Timothy's. If you're able to do anything with electronic stuff, praise God, because I frankly think it's necessary in the years to come. And hopefully your creativity will lend itself to perhaps a way that uh, we found with our youth group, who I tell you is one of the best parts of my time at this place. The EYC is a great group. We wound up having to meet on Zoom when COVID kicked in. But if you look carefully, you'll find the one great video where they're calling out to you, looking for you to be their next priest, where they embrace my notion of the walking stick. You will walk with them. I'm taking my stick with me, but there is one for you that will be given to you when you start your ministry. Now, here's the fun thing with these kids. In order to say goodbye, I purchased custom-made M&Ms, and I mailed them to them. Since they were at home, we could only meet by Zoom. And 12 of the 17 were able to gather at the end of June on a Sunday evening, and we opened up our M&Ms and enjoyed chocolate as a celebratory act. And then they had embraced the challenge to go to Netflix and watch a great movie called The Healer. So I simply suggest to you, this is a group that's willing to talk about God and be very serious about it. The last sermon I preached spoke to one of the questions raised by Ella Barnes Boykin of the youth group. What will happen to me as I'm preparing for confirmation? And I asked her where her heart was and the others had a sense of following Jesus and I connected the dots to baptism and the public act that is confirmation. And hopefully you'll have the joy of getting them prepared for confirmation. But perhaps you might like to watch that last sermon I preached, the one that shows up on July 12th. I won't tell you what's in it. That's the best way to get you to watch it. But it'll give you an idea of how I see the vibrancy of this parish. So there is great leadership financial stability, youth that are willing to grow and learn, a physical plant that is appropriately cared for and is in the center of a town, the town of Wilson, the city of Wilson, which has got its own green light of, of um, internet speed service that they own, 
which is a great economic incubator. So being this close to both Raleigh and Greenville and a wonderful part of the state of North Carolina within the Diocese of North Carolina, well, guess what? Another rationale for you to look closely at all the pieces of this website and consider why you might become a part as the next rector of St. Timothy's. I will hold you in prayer as the parish has been holding you in prayer. We do not know who God has chosen, but perhaps that is you. And if you can hear that call, you will be blessed as St. Timothy's will be blessed, as guess what? I have been blessed. So may the days that come be such that they are so full with God's love that you sense it and are willing to enter into it at St. Timothy's Episcopal Church in Wilson, North Carolina.